Hi, this is John from Racy Moto. I wanted to give you a brief overview of my feelings about the Storm versus the new Ultra. So both these bikes are higher performance bikes and I've had the pleasure of absolutely trying to demolish them on some fast single track over the weekend. So what I wanted to do is go, not in depth, but give you a bit of a summary of my feelings on the differences and where they're best suited. So let's start with the Storm B. So the Storm B is a heavier bike, around 126 kilo, but also higher performance, around 22 kilowatts. Now, even though it's heavy, I didn't find it was too bad on the single track. Once you're moving, that weight, you don't notice it. So I found that that was quite good to ride. I could ride very fast, be very comfortable at higher speeds, and it was definitely felt lighter than I expected, which is a good thing. Performance was good. Now the Ultra B, on the faster single track, this is lighter at 85 kilo, but also under less power at say 12 and a half kilowatts. But truthfully, this bike is as quick as that in the faster open single track. I found this bike very agile. The suspension was good. It was adequate. So between the two bikes, I would say I would prefer the Ultra personally because I'm a little bit smaller. So this is going to come down to your feeling. And by the way, like and subscribe uh, if you can, just to help us to keep this information coming to you to help you. So let us know anything that you would like to know, uh, any uh, feedback, we'll try and get back to you. So which bike suits which style of rider? I would say if you're more fast fire trail, MX orientated person, the Storm is a better pick for you. It's probably faster in the wide open uh, areas. Its suspension is a little bit more capable. It has a bit more power. Whereas if you like the single track and the trail riding and you're a little bit smaller, then the Ultra is probably the pick for you. Both bikes are very capable bikes. What I did notice about the feeling on the bikes is originally I was thinking that I didn't need to modify the Ultra much with its uh, ergonomics, especially the handlebars. But after riding the Storm, I do feel that the um, bars on the Ultra need to come up a little bit because I found uh, when I was standing up, it was still a little bit too, too low and a bit too forward. So I'm probably going to try and raise those bars just a little bit. Now, I found the stock tyres actually were quite good for single track, not for hill climbs or anything, but in your normal single track, they actually performed quite well, surprisingly well. So overall, both these bikes are really good bikes. The price point's good, the performance is good. Uh, let's talk about range. So I was doing an 11 kilometer loop at high speeds, taking about 15, 15 or 16 minutes and I'll show you some comparisons of the riding uh, a little bit further on. I was getting, uh, I was using 25% of my battery per lap at 11 kilometers on the Ultra and I was using 30% of the battery per 11 kilometer loop. So that would mean basically I would have got 30, 35 kilometers out of this bike and I probably would have got about 45 kilometers out of this bike. That's at riding pretty wide open, you know, accelerating under corners, riding pretty hard, riding with um, two strokes and four strokes, so whipping their butts, good fun. So that both these bikes are really, really capable. Um, in the real world range, you know, 30 to 40 kilometers at higher speeds is probably typical. If you were just trail riding, you're gonna get, you know, 50 to 80 on this one. And I'm not too sure on that, I haven't done a lot on this. But both are good bikes. Um, I think that you know you can't really go wrong with electric because it allows you to ride more places. There's lots of other advantages. So um, that's that's my general thoughts. If you're an open uh, sort of trail rider and more like the technical, probably the ultra, more open, wide open spaces and more MX, go the Storm. So let, let us know your comments and uh, leave us any feedback and please like and subscribe us.